Nigeria's Judicial, Executive, Legislative, Arms, all infected with corruption, disrespect for the rule of law, P2B says. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Obi, a former governor of Anambra State, said this on Friday in a statement he posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, as Nigeria joined other countries of the world to mark this year's International Democracy Day celebration. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, in the 2023 presidential election, Peter B., has said that the current trend of endemic corruption, abuse of a constitution, disrespect for the rule of law, and transactional politics cuts across Nigeria's executive, legislative, and judicial arms and threatens the country's democracy. Obi, a former governor of Anambra State, said this on Friday in a statement he posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, as Nigeria joined other countries of the world to mark this year's International Democracy Day celebration. The Labour Party presidential candidate who is challenging the election of President Bola Sinembo of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC said that if the mindless erosion of the ideals and tenets on which Nigeria's democracy was built is not checked, the country will be pushed into deeper lawlessness. According to him, Nigeria has continued to swing dangerously away from the boundaries of true democracy and the country is gradually re losing respect for the rule of law, which is one of the biggest intangible assets that makes the nation strong. He said, on this year's celebration of International Democracy Day, we must remind ourselves of the need to work together to build and deepen our nation's democracy. As witness in the country today, the mindless erosion of the very ideals and tenets on which Nigeria's democracy was built, if not checked, will only push the nation deeper into lawlessness. The current trend of endemic corruption, abuse of a endemic corruption, abuse of a constitution, disrespect for the rule of law, and transactional policies which cuts across the executive, legislative, and judicial arms of government have continued to conflict with our nation's enforcement of democracy. Consequently, our dear nation has continued to swing dangerously away from the boundaries of true democracy. Gradually, we are losing one of the biggest intangible assets that makes a nation strong, which is respect for the rule of law. I call on all Nigerians to remain committed to building and reinforcing our nation's democracy. Once again, I restate my commitment to a new and truly democratic Nigeria. I am in this struggle solely for the betterment of our society. My vision of a new and truly democratic Nigeria is born out of a deep conviction that Nigeria, if, giving, if given good leadership as I offer to give, we be beneficial to every Nigerian. We must not give up on our nation because a new and truly democratic Nigeria is possible. Well, 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 <laughs> um, at this point, sincerely, we are not even supposed, anything democratic, they're not even supposed to. If you ask me, oh, with everything that have happened, the, only this year, this year, if you ask me, it was an eye-opener. And I keep asking myself, had it been the election we have was business as usual, where, you know, Nigerians would just drag their leg on election day, People just say, let me just go, let, let me just go and vote, Sha. Let's say, for instance, there was no third party. They don't have a, the third party. And then we did not also have the enlightenment that we have. Because whether you like it or not, there is this enlightenment of Nigerians, um, of Nigeria on politics. And there's this awakeness of, you know, active politics in Nigerians this year, which would not have been possible if we did not have the third party. Yes, people would just, election day, let me go. Let make we go, just go. Let's go and just, make we go now. Then go drag leg, drag hand, and you just, you just go. Some people go carry their self, go, and they will sell it to the highest bidder. We still go tell ABC after all. If they're not gonna give us waiting, we vote. Make we cuckoo, you know, make I use this money where they go give me. Use whole body. Some people have turned it to transactional, you know, you don't become business to some people. 
truly anything called democ democracy is not even supposed to because first of all nigerians were charged up the political atmosphere was charged up there was this political awakeness in you know in among most especially the youth people be saying they're not even they interested in ordinary news i'm telling you that people be saying news no they feel they already listen to news Unless maybe they don't, if we be saying you don't do their culture, so uh, nine, uh, what's it called? Nine p.m. news, they must listen to her. Chinese news, then go listen to her. You don't get option. If you did the house and you did that city room, you must listen to the news. Uh -huh. And then they have people be say they are radio. Now, listen, they radio for sleep. Six a.m., they get, they go listen to news. You understand? Except people be say don't get their culture. Nigeria really. Most especially the youth, they don't send. There was this awakeness. People were charged. And this election was not business as usual. You get? This election was not business as usual because Nigerians put their lives on the line. If you people cannot see it, it is clear. I can see it clearly. Nigerians put their lives on the line. Some people use their resources. Whether I like it or not, some people, this country has never given them anything positive. And yet they came out, put their lives on the line for this country. I said, you know what? I am going to speak about this election. Come outside and vote. Some people use their resources. Some are using everything they have, even though they never gained one thing from this country. They did that. And on the election day, I neck. And even the executive arm of government, they made us believe that oh, it was going to be an electoral accumulation of results. So if people talk that time, say, ah, what is even special about this election? Is it not like the same thing? I have people who who told me that ah, my way stuff fine. Then go see put person way be say they won't put. They don't already decide the election, and people will always be ah, it is electronic now. Nah, electric go go use countdown. Not be manual. And now it is like those people that said it. They are not looking at us like we told you. They are, we are now pained. We are now the ones that we are fooled. And then what happened? Even when people still had hope and went to the judiciary. Testing the judiciary is okay. Let us see if as a commoner you run to the judiciary. Are they going to save you? Yet again, we were slapped on our faces. And told that the judiciary, if they keep person will be widow, we can't knock for their door. That same person will oppress the, the widow. Go oh, waka come make you judiciary. Give them money. Then go sell away that lady. Then go sell the widow away. Over how much? Over change. Even if we now over big money. If you start to talk about the rot in a democracy, <laughs> morning go come, night go come. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest.